Um, James, if you kind of just walk us back through how we got to this point, if you don't mind, I think a lot of us are just numb or even shocked just with the sheer amount of water. Um, and so if you wouldn't mind just kind of walking us through exactly how we got here. Well, let's take a, a, a moment back, like three days ago. We were talking about a, a tropical disturbance in the Gulf of Mexico, and it looked like it was going up toward the Houston area or making landfall, Galveston, Houston area. It's gonna be a rainmaker. Yeah. But once it went and got real close to shore, and then onshore, it didn't, it wasn't a depression anymore. It became tropical storm Imelda. Mm -hmm. uh, Imelda had a, a, a kind of a different characteristic as tropical storms do. Uh, this one was a low pressure center at the surface and a low upper level low mm -hmm. on top of it when it made landfall. So it was able to at least develop into tropical storm status. Now it didn't stay that way very long, mm -hmm. but it doesn't take, and I mentioned this to you earlier, you know, I've been preaching this for, for 20 plus years, uh, that it doesn't take a big bad category four or five storm yeah, right. to cause a problem and disrupt your lives. This was a tropical depression after a tropical storm and it just, you know, moved in and then it just moved over toward us from Houston area. And you know, when, when you see this kind of system, it pulls in the moisture from the Gulf of Mexico because low pressure spins counterclockwise. So all that moisture comes in from the Gulf. And what happens is uh, you get the, the training effect or the flooding effect. Then we have some uh, very uh, unstable atmospheric conditions that take place where we have a lot of that storm uh, cause these training uh, effects to where we had the same large areas of thunderstorms over the same areas that just was all the way from Houston, Galveston into Jefferson, uh, you know, County and Orange County, Hardin County. That's where we had the problem because it stayed on top of us and it was so heavy of rainfall yeah. amounts that it was, you know, so many inches, four to eight inches of rain per hour there's no way to keep up with that and it stayed that way for you know several days nights and into today and, and as patrick vaughn mentioned it, it, he said it's going to be like a fire hose opening up from houston and you know it's, picture a big fire hose opening up and it was just it, he, he nailed it right on the money but it when you have that kind of situation you can't do anything about right. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's nothing to be done. The and pumps it, can't keep up, and it's not going to go anywhere. There's just no infrastructure handles that. Right. Four to six inches an hour. Uh, 